Thank you for joining us for this sermon podcast from United Church on the Green, located in New Haven, Connecticut. No matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are invited and welcome. If you enjoy this podcast and would like to learn more about our open and affirming ministry at United Church on the Green, please visit our website at unitednewhaven.org. Thank you. Would you pray with me, please? Oh dear God, may the words of my mouth and meditations of all our hearts be acceptable in your sight. Amen. Well, what a special day it is for us today. Not only is it a wonderful day of Reformation that we are celebrating in kind of a silent way, but we're also celebrating a time of such transformation and such beautiful couple that we're going to be performing a wedding for today. Indeed, the whole thing is transformation. The scripture reading this morning is a story about Zacchaeus, who was a Jew who worked for Rome. It's another story you see for us about transformation. As a tax collector, similar to the one that we spoke about last week, it was his job to collect taxes from everyone and at a great expense. Their personal wealth was through corruption, and exploitation, and they thrived at the expense of others. It was an accepted part of the very sick social context of the time and preyed on the Hebrew people. It was indeed a very unjust system. Tax collectors not only collected what was due to Rome, but took a large percentage for themselves, regardless of the person's ability to pay. Zacchaeus was not a man concerned about justice. Cleverly, though, Jesus names him Zacchaeus in this story, and ironically, or maybe as foreshadowing, calls him the name that is translated as justice. So Zacchaeus, who was a very short man, known to be a sinner, was up on a tree limb, better to see him that way. And Jesus sees him, an unlikely candidate for liberation, as really Francois says, and invites himself to stay with him that night. And he offers him a way out of his past. For us as well, Jesus offers a new way for us to be alive and to be alert and available to each other. We all need this gift of reimagining life beyond everything that deadens, corrupts, and paralyzes. Zacchaeus transforms himself immediately. And in this translation and other translations of the Bible, (coughs) you will recognize that he speaks in the present tense. He says, I give to the poor. I give back fourfold. Do you see people? He has already changed. What I love about this story, and I've always loved this story because it does talk about a short man who has to climb a tree to see Jesus. (laughs) I kept waiting to get tall, but I always knew I could climb a tree if I had to. And as a child, I was a great tree climber. But what I really love about this story is that Jesus is always inviting us to change. We no longer have to be held hostage to a category that we no longer believe to be true. We can grow beyond yesterday. We can grow beyond yesterday. And this growth happens within the covenant that God made from the beginning of time. In Genesis, we learn that a covenant was made between God and not only Noah, but also with the earth and every living creature upon the earth. A promise that God will always love us, be there for us, and wants to be in relationship with us every day. Still to this day, after a good rain, and as the sun starts to break through, and oftentimes if you look, you'll see the evidence of this covenant There is a rainbow in the sky, just as there is a rainbow in our church, in my stone, and rainbow flags all around us. 
metaphorically saying that God loves us always. Whoever we are and wherever we are on life's journey. Today we are here to celebrate this promise of grace, and the promise of transformation. The purpose of a covenant is to bind together two parties in a firm relationship. Rodney Buchanan reminds us that God's plan from the very beginning was always to create a people with whom God could share God's life with. From God's relationship with Abraham, we see how God did something with him that becomes the norm for God establishing relationships, and it begins with establishing a covenant. As we can read in Jeremiah, God said, This is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. God's part of the promise was that God would fulfill the covenant and redeem God's people by bringing the Messiah into the world, who would bring God's people back to God and give them, yes, give them new hearts. In Hebrews, it says that God can even take something old and make it new. Take something old and make it new. Dear people, that is transformation. Through all this, we know that God longs for us, is faithful, intensely personal, and relational. God wants us to love one another and be in relationship with us. And as we saw in Zacchaeus, he wants us to be in relationship with each other. In the marriage about to be performed, later in this service, we see another covenant and we see another transformation. Ginny and Janice are two people coming together to make public their covenant they made to each other years ago. As Ginny says, we have been unlawfully wed for 15 years. <laughs> so today they're going to affirm a covenant that is as true today as it was yesterday. Yet one that has continuously evolved. And it is a covenant based on transformation. On God's grace for growth. A re-imaging of an old category that never, never fit the two of them into a new and a true basis of life. As Christian women of love, and through which they are called to continuously seek justice in the world. You see, these two people are devout Christians, and they recognize that God's love is transforming not only in their lives, but through them they have the power to transform others. And justice is an absolute number one priority for these two Christian women. God feels joy when two people have found each other, and we are to praise God for this gift of love. We are, because of this blessing, called then to join in reaching out, out of home, out of the comfort zone, to seek righteousness. There is this challenge for those in God's covenant to love one another as we have been loved, and to seek justice and righteousness and kindness, lifting up our hearts and letting love be fed, and praising indeed the covenant maker and covenant keeper. The hymn that we sang as we came into church this morning was a hymn that they asked us to sing this morning that has words that are so deep and so true. Hear these words again. When love is found and hope comes home, sing and be glad that two are one. When love explodes and fills the sky, praise God and share our maker's joy. When love has flowered in trust and in care, Build both each day that love may dare to reach beyond home's warmth and light 
to serve and strive for truth and right. God's love, you see, for all of us is the key to transformation. Dear people, I pray that that is so. Amen.